Here's number 27 from the 2012 AP Calc Multiple Choice Set. Uh, second to last of the non-calculator multiple choice questions, and they give us this weird looking equation. So the equation has x and y on both sides, and on the left hand side, it also involves dy dx, the first derivative. It asks us for the value of the second derivative for the equation that satisfies this at the point 3 comma 0. So we basically need to evaluate the second derivative at 3 comma 0. In order to evaluate the second derivative, at that spot, we need to produce an equation that involves the second derivative. So I realized if I just take the derivative of both sides of this equation, I'm going to end up with a second derivative appearing. Now the thing I have to be careful of is x plus 2y is, is going to be a function of x. I'm also going to need to assume that dy dx is a function of x. So when I do my derivative on the left hand side, I'm going to have to be careful and, and use a, a product rule as I do that derivative. So I'm doing the derivative of the first piece of the product, the derivative of this x plus 2y term, derivative of x plus 2 times the derivative of y with respect to x times the original second piece of the product, add on to that the original first piece of the product, and then the derivative of the second piece of the product is going to be where our second derivative comes into play. On the other side, I do the derivative of 2x, I subtract off the derivative of y, and I have a line right here that involves my second derivative. Now what I really want is I want to know the value of the second derivative at 3 comma 0. So I can put 3 in place of all of the x's on this line. I guess there's only one of them right, right here. I can put 0 in place of all the y's. So I've got a, a y here that I can replace with 0. But then I also have to know the value of dy dx at this spot. And they didn't provide us with that, but it's not that difficult to determine. If I solve this equation for dy dx, I'm going to have the right hand side divided by that set of parentheses, this x plus 2y quantity. If I evaluate the first derivative at this same ordered pair, so 3 in place of these x's and 0 in place of these y's, what I end up with is I end up with a, a first derivative value of 2. So if I take 2, and put it in place of all of these dy dx's. I then just simply have to simplify this, solve for d, the second derivative, and I have my value.